Hey, how's everybody going? It's been a while, well, a week since I've done any work at all in, in my art room. I've been really, really busy at work. But anyway, this, this um, video is just really to show four colors I've got at the moment. I've got hundreds of different colors and pigments and um, which are all available to buy, but I can't do all of them all at once. So basically, I'm just going to do these coasters. I'm going to dry brush them. Then I'm going to top them off with black resin, let them cure and pop them out and let you see the colors. Um, this would be a way to view the colors to see how they react. It's only just with the dry brush. They will mix in with resin. They will mix in with your acrylic paint for your blooms and such. I'm sure everybody's heard of them uh, with their Shelley Art Group. But um, these are my colours and um, I'm really, really happy with how they've, um, they've been performing. And I'm just now sort of doing a bit of a colour show for them, really. And um, so the first one I'm going to use is um, a ruby gold. So this is a red to gold shift. And it is, um, it is really, really good. I love it. Just using a normal brush, make sure it's dry. I've got probably a bit of a stain from other pigments I've been using, but I just wipe it off. And um, I never, ever wash it. If it starts to get a bit tired, buy a new one. Is um, basically what you can do with that. But anyway, we'll start with this mould here. I got this through the... The, um, this little piggy pigment and this is my color so it's a red gold shift it is fantastic it's in some of my mandalas that I've um, done and um, yeah it, it's brilliant I love it it's a red that I like like I've been trying to find a really good red and this one is it this is a super chrome one it is available I'm selling these ones. It is pretty expensive. It's not a cheap one, but it goes a long way. And um, it is very, very red and very, very gold. And the shift is just unreal. As you can see with it now, how um, vibrant this one is. And it, it, it'll work great with blooms. It'll work great with resin, dry brushing. Really anything, you can dry brush onto silicon, you can dry brush onto resin itself, which is a technique that I've been showing a lot of people. I would be interested in that technique. Just go back a few videos and there's a few of them there. I've done all kinds. And, um, but yeah, we'll keep going with this one here. But this is, I'm selling these, it's, um, forget the price now they'll be in three three gram bags like this just to make sure that it's a bit light and not too expensive with postage I think postage is about $20 Australian and I'm selling them in three gram bags and um, they're priced Ooh. I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time it's not so easy I think it's a male thing, but that's okay. So these are super chromey. And these are very, 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 very fine powder. As you can see on this video, the shift in them is great. You can see the red, you can see the gold. Please um, subscribe to this channel, it will be really great. Had a lot of good support, a lot of good comments. If you're interested in the colours, just email me, I'll leave it in the description. But it's at Catch the Light 2024 at gmail.com. Oops, I splashed some everywhere. But this powder does go a long way. 
and it's like dust. It is so fine, which is why I'm so, so happy with it. Hopefully this video won't be too long, but it will be a little bit long, so fast forward. Like this one I'm making, then I've got two. I don't know how to put things together yet, so it'll probably be a part one and part two. Although you can just flip from this to the next one once I post it. But it is a, a ruby gold. And it's one that I've been working on for a while. So as I said, this is a super chrome one, so there I've got um two super chromes and two still very very chromey all for a color shift I've got quite a lot of other colors but I'm just gonna do a few at a time on coasters just so that you can see what they are and what their names are called so this is ruby gold and it is a red red and a gold shift and it's unreal works with resin Works with um, your acrylic paints for your blooms if you enter them. I've done a few blooms, works great. So this is $30 Australian for three grams, but it does go a long way. There's no spare bits on here, so you just take your time doing it. And the color on this is great. So you got the gold. It's showing more gold than anything, but it is, it, it turned red. And it's, it's, the red is so cool. I'm actually putting this, my phone in a different angle. Somebody suggested to try and do it landscape, but then there is no landscape setting. So I just turned my phone on the side. And um, so you can see the red there, but front on, for me, it's red. And then a slight turn, it goes gold. There's even a slight green in there as well, but it is only, it's red and gold and it's fantastic. But yeah, so I've turned my phone onto the side, so it's like a landscape. I hope this works better. I'm not sure, why, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it might be when you cast it to your TV, it's a better view rather than just a thin little video in the middle. I'm assuming that's what it is. But hopefully this works better but that's really great so that's that one there so that's ruby gold it's a red and gold shift super super chrome three grams for thirty dollars now the next one Next one is a blue violet color. And this one is really, really cool. I love it. So I need to wipe off this. So I'm going to put it on this mold here. And this one is a blue violet. Another color shift. You get flashes of green, blue, and red and violet so blue violet is this one so the blue violet one is not a super chrome but it is still very 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 chromey and this is 
I'm selling this in five gram bags for $25. And um, this is this is really, really cool. Just all these different angles here. And you get the different colors in there. But there's also a flash of green too. So this is blue violet. Works well in resin. They all do. All of these pigments that I've got all work well with resin. They work well with acrylic paint, with your blooms, etc. They brush onto silicon, which shows what I'm doing now. I'll try and do videos of all the colors I've got, but at least something so you can see. It's hard to pick colors just by label. Like, yeah, it, it might say blue, green or whatever, but without actually seeing it and video actually still doesn't do it any justice, but you get more of an idea of the color range before you're buying, which is a uh, a good thing and this is a really really nice one still very very chromey comes up nice and polished on um, this silicon here like it's not a dark blue but it's a blue flash in this so this is blue violet Works great with resin, works great with your blooms for your acrylic paints. You can also even make a paint out of it. And it's also good for um, if you have an airbrush, mix it with your clear medium or your airbrush medium anyway, your lacquer or whatever you decide to use. And it's great for airbrushing as well. I do some pieces with my airbrush. And all my powders work on them, which is really good. So it's quite versatile. So you don't even, it's not restricted to one thing. So you get a, a range of uses out of it, which is really good. Because I know with art that I do, I, I, it's, I don't just mess around with resin. Um, or acrylic paint. I paint with oils, paint with acrylic. I design patterns in my laser, then I either spray paint or I airbrush colors onto that, set it in resin, and then dry brush onto the resin. Do all kinds of things. So art is just not restricted to one particular subject. I even do some jewelry as well. So that's, this one here is blue violet, which is very nice too. Get a blue flash, violet flash, there's even like a yellowy orange in there as well. And there's a, a green. I need a little bit, blue violet is the main color of this one. Still again, very, very nice. This one is five gram bag I'm selling for $25. Postage is about $20. As I said, I've been doing some jewellery. And I'm mixing some gold colours, which are really, really cool. Just little spears. That's gold mixed in with the resin itself. And then I've got these, which are some other colors I've got as well. This is a, a holographic gold and it is fantastic. It is unreal. 
Like it, under this light, it's really good. You should see it in the sunshine. It just shimmers away. And being holographic, it has the shimmer of other colors as well. But they, these are necklaces and earrings. They're just little spheres. I put a little um, bead cap on the end, attach a chain or whatever necklace you want to um, wrap into it. These little ones can be little earrings. Just got to put the bead caps on the end. And this is just with spare clear resin that I, I get and I just mix whatever color into it. And then I just put them in little molds, little sphere molds. That's what they look like from the top and the different sizing underneath. These I got from Amazon, not too expensive, but well worth it to get this effect. It's like there's a little, a little party of lights going on inside. I also did checkers. This is a holographic silver that I've got. Another one that I'll be showing that I'll have for sale soon, but at the moment I'm just showing four colors. There are other colors as well. If you go back on my other videos and look at the the mandalas or the, the fake glass look that I've been doing, my dry brushing, all the colors that I've used there are all available. So if you're interested in other colors, just send me a, an email and we'll track down which color you want and I'll be happy to send that as well. As I said, the Super Chrome are a little bit more expensive, not too much more. Like they're three grams for $30 or the other ones are five grams for $25. And these are some here. See this has a green purple shift which is great. It's a gold, purple and green in that one. But these are just some other colors that I've already, these were just like little pendants and I just thought I'd do straight colors with them. That's a gold and it goes gray and green gold. That one's a really, really nice color. My phone is ringing. But I can't answer it. So hopefully that's not on the video. I don't think it will be. Anyway, back to this. Right, so now our next color is a blue gold. This is another chrome shifty, not a super chrome. This is five grams for $25. And this is a blue gold. It's a bit of a violet shift in this one as well, but blue gold, it's a really, really nice color. I was going to put these in little jars, but then the um, postage, it just goes up in price because of the weight. Because I did have some little jars and the jars are really, really cool, but they've got the weight to them. So it's just a shame that I've got to send them all in little bags. If you want the little jar, I'm quite happy to put them in a little jar and it just might add a little bit more of a weight cost. These are the little jars. There we go. These are the little jars. There's them ones, which are a bit bigger. Or these tiny, tiny little ones. But it is a weight thing. And this one here is also a really nice colour. And you just methodically brush through everything. This is a blue, violet and gold.
it looks more blue violet but there is a gold in there there's about three colors three or four colors a lot of these colors that i um that are available so just email me at catch the light or drop a message in the comments don't forget to subscribe i'll keep doing the videos like i've the, I'm a chef, so I've had an extremely busy week, but it's going to slow down a little bit and then I'll have more time to post more videos of these colours, which I'm being a bit biased because um, I think they're brilliant. So if you're interested in them, please send me a message, email to catch the light, I'll put the... Um, email in the description so this one also is five grams $25 and it's a blue violet gold shift I'm dry brushing and then I'll be coating it with black just to give you an idea of the color and then you've got at least something to go on of how it's going to come out but these work with great with resin great with airbrush great with your acrylics for your blooms etc your dirty pores and all the acrylic pouring so it's a, a really nice one and the shine on this is unreal that's a blue gold violet it's also blue and violet but there is a gold shift in there like this one I might have to change the name on that because it comes out so different it's more like a, a salmon a salmon pink with a blue flash salmon blue maybe Oh, that, yeah, that could be salmon blue. And this is blue violet. Yeah, I'm going to confuse you now. So do a screenshot. That one. Five grams, twenty-five dollars. This one here. Five grams, twenty-five dollars. This one here. Three grams, thirty dollars super 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 chromey okay that's them three one more on this mold and this one i actually really really like this is goblin green i love the name and i like the color make sure i get the right side because i did this once and i actually did it on the wrong side but I'm pretty sure it's this side. It had better be that side. So I'll wipe this off. It doesn't matter if you get a little bit on there. Everything all blends anyway. So this one is a super, super chrome. Three grams, $30. This one is Goblin Green. It is a orange and green shift. And I love it. Not as much as the red and gold. This is fantastic. It is a really, really cool color. Goblin Green, I like to call this one. And it's it's stuck. The name stuck to it. It is a really nice green and a really nice orange. But this is a very, very super, super chrome shift. So if you do actually buy any goblin green and ruby gold are really good to get but i can do custom packs if you want if you want four colors i can sort out a price with that if you want more than 
my weightage, like it's just a standard weight that I'm doing, I'm more than happy to increase the weight and then I can come up with the price. But just email me, we can discuss it and we can come to some agreement and sort it out, which is easily done. But please ask away, ask any questions. Better to know than not to know, better to ask than wonder. But this one here, this one I'm just, it's a starting price at three grams for $30. Australian, that is. So this one's called Goblin Green. And definitely is that. Postage is about $20. But please email me at catchthelight2024 at gmail.com. And I'm Simon, by the way. I'm sure it's on the YouTube, my name. I haven't said my name before. Goblin Green is a good one, but Ruby Gold is, I do, like my favourite colour is, is red. Blue's also good, but, but these shimmer colours, all of these shimmer colours are great. They have a great luster, they're not quite a glitter. Glitter is something else, I do have a lot of glitter as well, but these lusters are great. And with the technique that I use, the dry brushing onto silicon or onto resin is fantastic. I will show you the brand of resin that I use, which is really, really good for the dry brushing. It has a slow cure time, which is what I need. Because if you want, if you, if you can't really, you can, but you can't really dry brush too well on a completely cured surface of resin. It needs to be like 90, 98% cured, but not sticky, sticky, but the JR resin, just resin is, is fantastic. I've been using it, road tested it, and um, it is a good one. So there's... There's the Goblin Grain. So that one is a, a three grams for thirty dollars. Postage is about twenty. But email me what you think. I can make up packs if you want. If you want four colors as a pack, we'll come to some agreement on price. Postage I think will still be around twenty dollars. It, it might even be a little bit less, but we can work on that. So Goblin Grain. And that has a golden grain, so you've even got a yellow, but it's a gold. And it's sort of slightly orange, and then it just, it, it's unreal. All these angles, and it goes well. So you've even got a blue in there as well. But it is fantastic. And in jewellery, it, it's great. Wow, wait, there is a blue in there. That's really, really good. So that's these these four so we've got the ruby gold and this we changed to a salmon blue but it could come out a slightly darker once I get the black on and once they're tipped out and then we've got a blue violet which is pretty cool all super chromey and then goblin grain so these are the four colors so far in my other videos, I've got other colors. Just take a screenshot, send it to me. We can track down the color. I've got hundreds of them. I can only do so many at a time, and um, but that's all I can do at the moment. Uh, but I've got hundreds of colors. So if you have a color in mind that you want, I more than likely will have it. So if you, if you want one that's green, blue, and gold, or green, 
red and gold or um, anything really. You've got a, a blue, green and violet. Or a mauve, red and orange. I've got, a, I've, I've got hundreds, literally hundreds. I've been doing so much mixing and they've, they've turned out really, really good. But anyway, back to the resin part now. I'm going to mix up a black resin and I don't know if I've got any more cups. I should do. I do have more cups, but I actually think they're in my house. So um, I'm going to have to, yeah, no, I can't use a, a dirty cup. And Oh, how weird is that? I thought I brought the cups in here. That is a, a bit of a pain. Okay, well, looks like I'm going to have to stop the video here because I I thought my mixing cup was in here, but it, it's actually not. Unless you want to sing to yourself. I'll, I'll try and edit this part out, but I will be right back. Sing to yourself. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Got blue cups. Our black cups at the shop, they don't sell anymore. They've discontinued it, so now I've got to get blue. So, I was hoping they'd still have black, but they don't. So I was a bit disappointed because sometimes colours show up better on black than any other colour. I'm just going to move this aside so I don't slop any resin onto it and I also got some mail so I wonder what I got I got a package from Amazon so many things coming This is a cat's eye. It's a cat's eye nail polish. Yeah, that was for another thing that I'm going to do. I'm waiting for some skull molds. So I can half fill the skull mold and then put this cat's eye nail polish onto it and then cover it with clear. But that's uh, another project. But for right now, it's resin time. So I'm using Art Coat JR Resin, Just Resin. Very, very good product. I've been very, very happy with it. It's a two part, part A, part B. And first you mix in part B and then part A into it. B is um, thinner and if you're measuring a one-to-one -one, if you've got a jug with a measure on it you put your part B in first and then you do your part A second and because it is thicker and 
It's just the way that I've always done it. So we'll start with this one. So I'll put a little bit. So I'm just doing a, a hundred mils of part B. Low VOC works really well. If you need to wear a mask, wear a mask. I, I don't normally, and I probably should. I'm in a well, well ventilated room, but I don't usually wear a mask. Okay, so. as quick as I can. Okay, part B is in there. Now for part A, one to one basis, one to one measure. A hundred mils of part B, a hundred mils of part A, which will give me a total of 200 mils. And then I mix it, pour black acrylic paint into it. You can use inks, you can use dyes, you can use even black mica powder, but they are all very translucent and you won't get a, like a quite an opaque backing and you need it to be opaque. If you don't want the opaque, then you by all means use them, but I use acrylic black paint. I mix into the resin, it gives me a nice dark color. You can use Liquitex, you can use Jasonia, you can use Amsterdam, whatever blacks you want. Some blacks are slightly different, like all colours. Like you get like 50 whites and 50 types of black and like sometimes I just think it's a bit much, a bit much of a muchness. I just want a black. I have used blue. It's okay but it does slightly change things, which is okay if you want that. But I tend to use black for doing this kind of style. And you can use white as well. I've not experimented with that. I watched a YouTube the other day, somebody experimenting with white on actually these, these kind of coasters as well. And um, It doesn't look so good. I wasn't really into it. But that's each to their own really. So I've been using the Liquitex. Is ivory black because I ran out of Mars black. But I've got Amsterdam lamp black, which is really good. Lamp black is good for um. Well, it depends on what, what um, cell activator you're using in your blooms. But the Amsterdam lime seems to be really good, but there are a few other paints that work quite just as well. Then the, the Floetrol, and the Floetrol, yeah, the Floetrol is, is the actual key ingredient. So that's really, really cool. I'm lucky I live in Australia because we just drop down to Bunnings and get it. Whereas the rest of the world is, it's find it hard. There's different types of flow troll and o troll and I don't know what other trolls there are. And a lot of people have adjusted to whatever country that they live in. But the world is so much smaller now with the YouTube and internet and everything, which is really crazy. Just in only my lifetime. to adjust to a lot of things that were <laughs> just in my country years ago because you had no idea what was in any other country and there was no such thing as Amazon so you just adapted to what you had or if you didn't have a color you had to mix different colors to get the color you needed same with these pigment powders it's the, exactly the same if you want a slightly different color you can mix them and you get another variation 
of the color which is really really cool so you you can do it and that's how i came up with a lot of these colors it's just mixing and matching and coming up with colors and going from there really which i liked like i did that with a lot of my oil paintings you just mix the colors and you come up with a really cool color just remember on the combinations or just going with your gut Mixing all of this up. I also have SVG files available to do cutouts for your coasters. I've done this sunflower in a coaster. I've done this in a big Mandela type thing. There's also this water droplet effect that I've done in a previous video. They're all cool as well. running out of things to say except the old thing like subscribe comment click me an email i'll put it in the description if you're interested in anything if you're interested in buying anything even all my completed work is um all for sale as well i've had a few people just inquire and bought actually um some of my pieces that i've already finished and made and they've bought them and i've sent them off to them and they've been very happy with them so um yeah and then the colors which i'm just getting through letting everybody know what they are i know i said it in quite a number of videos previous to this that they are available but now they are available so i've just got to get the ball moving and get people buying them really so the super chrome is this ruby red and this goblin green, which is three grams for $30. If you want a larger amount, let me know. I can accommodate that. The other two is five grams for $25. They're quite chromey as well. They're all a color shift. Most of my stuff is color shift. And um, I've even got some auroras. I'm just sort of just starting to experiment with them now just to see actually how good they are. But they're all pretty good, all the colours. Every one that I've got is all shimmer. Even my glow in the dark are quite shimmery. And I've got a number of colours that actually show up at night. Uh, a couple of fluoros, which are really good. And um, the iridescent colours. I've even got like a black, black red one, which is like, a, it's so, so cool. But I haven't got that yet. Like, as I said, I've got hundreds. So if you have any color variations in mind or color shifts in mind that you'd like, let me know because I more than likely have got it. Or I can easily mix and match it for you. Do a little demo in case you're not sure or do a demo off camera and then just send you a picture but please ask you, you don't know unless you ask so scraping the sides to get any unmixed resin getting the corners down the bottom and this black is is done and there it is it's, it's just black black resin so now all I do I've got too much I know that I just fill these up and then leave them. They'll cure overnight. I'll do another little video of unveiling them. It'll be a two part. So this will be part one once I get this done. Taking them out of the mold will be a part two. But that's really all I can do. I haven't learned how to edit properly, so you'll have to forgive my not editing everything yet or fast forwarding in parts when I probably should. I 
Hopefully I've got a level surface. I don't think it's quite level because I think one's about to overflow. So I need to go back a little. I think that's fine. I nearly had a mishap right here. It still went over the edge a little, but I think I caught it in time. I think that's fine. So yeah, that's got way too much in it, but it's okay. I will leave it at that. I'll run you probably. It's hard to take resin out, especially when I don't want to scrape. And then I might just touch the bottom. So I can just touch the surface and take a little out at a time. So yeah, when you're pouring in, slowly, slowly, stop and then wait. You can always add more. It's always harder to take it out. I'm actually going to leave it like that. It'll be fine. I've got a little bit resin there so I need to look for a little mold so I can put that in. Also I never torch with a flame when I'm using silicon. You can do as long as you're very careful but I did do some of these I flamed it and obviously I did it too much or it was got a bit too hot and the resin stuck to the silicon and ruined all the molds so I will never do it again. Use a flame if you've got no silicon mold involved and you're doing a bench top like I've done before, a big flame is really good because I love to use a blowtorch with spray paint on resin, which is fantastic. And I will do a big video one day once I figure out all the, the, the editing and the filming part of it. But for now, we'll just stick with, with these that I'm doing now. But so I use isopropyl alcohol, just mist over the top is all you need and that'll burst most of the bubbles. My resin is going to overflow on that so I actually it, it's definitely going to overflow. So I need to turn it So I can use paper towel as well to just get some of this resin out. Slowly, slowly, this is probably going to overflow. I don't want to ruin it by trying to get it out, but that's fine. It'll be, it'll be okay. Yeah, so that's that. I'll leave this overnight now to cure. And um, and then I'll make another little video, which will be a part two. So this will be a part one. The next one will be a part two. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Please, please comment. Flick me an email. I will leave my email in the description. Uh, the colors are available, as I said. The Super Super Chrome is, at the moment, is the the ruby gold and the goblin green which are both three grams for thirty dollars if you need a larger amount email me we can come to some agreement and the the other color shift chameleon colors whatever you want to call them lusters color shift are five grams for twenty five dollars this is all in australian and um yeah we can work from there but please email I hope this video worked out well, being in a landscape as far as I know. So I forget the guy's name or the girl's name, sorry, um, who suggested for me to do this in landscape instead. I hope this um, hit the mark 
and um, I will have another look on my TV and see if it actually did work. And um, yeah, that's all cool. I've got another hot day, middle of summer here, very, very hot. But cheers. Thank you for watching and um, see you back in part two.